Welcome to CPI's High Performance Classroom Cleaning Video. This 10-minute instructional video is designed to show you state-of-the-art tools and techniques that you can utilize to create a cleaner and healthier environment inside of a school and inside of a classroom. Let's get started. Here's the tools that you'll need to clean your classroom. A six-gallon pre-treated bucket with sealing lid. We'll use this bucket to hold our microfiber products. A six-quart pail to measure out cleaning solution and saturate microfiber products. An adjustable pole with a 16-inch frame and several 18-inch microfiber mops. An adjustable pole with a yellow tip, a 9-inch wall wash frame, and 9-inch microfiber pads. A 9-inch hand trowel and 9-inch microfiber pads. And a flexible microfiber high duster. Let's get started. The first thing we'll want to do is pre-treat our cleaning products. Utilizing the 6-quart measuring pail, measure out the appropriate amount of cleaning solution to properly saturate your cleaning products. Take your cleaning solution and pour it over the top of your top mops. Move the bucket back and forth across the mops to get even consistency throughout the bucket. Next, take your sealing lid and place it over the top of the bucket. Make sure that all four corners and the sides are securely locked in place. Flip the bucket upside down and allow it to sit for 15 minutes so that all your product is saturated properly. The second step in our classroom cleaning will be to do high dusting. Utilize the flexible microfiber duster to clean hard to reach areas and to get in and around surfaces. The third step will be to clean any chalkboards or dry erase boards. If you're using a different product to clean these surfaces, just take a dry trowel pad and use a trigger sprayer to saturate the pad. We'll utilize the 9 inch wall wash frame and an adjustable pole with a yellow tip to clean these surfaces. Walk back and forth to reduce fatigue and to increase cleaning efficiency. Other popular tools used to clean boards and other surfaces are the 9 inch hand trowel or the 18 inch frame with adjustable pole. Next let's clean desktops. Utilizing the 9 inch hand trowel and the 9 inch microfiber pad you can clean all the touch surfaces of the desk quickly and easily. Move the hand trowel across the desk, over and back to create an efficient, easy way to clean the surface. Use the beveled edge of the trowel to remove any stuck-on debris. To 
depending on the size of the classroom and the soil load, you'll want to make sure you change your pad regularly. Other popular tools used to clean desktops and other surfaces are the 9-inch frame with adjustable pole and yellow tip or the 16-inch frame with an adjustable pole and yellow tip. Use the 9-inch hand trowel and 9-inch microfiber pad to clean countertops, cupboards, and other flat surfaces. Next, let's wash the floor using a 16-inch frame, an adjustable pole with a blue tip, and an 18-inch long loop microfiber mop. We can easily dust mop and clean the floor in a single pass. Draw a line down the middle of the floor, and using a figure S type of a motion, move the mop back and forth across the soiled surface. When you finish cleaning the floor, there's a simple and easy way to remove the mop without having to touch it. With the frame in the upright position, push the gray button. This will collapse the frame in half and allow you to easily put the soiled mop into the gray soil laundry bucket. This concludes CPI's High Performance Classroom Cleaning Training video. We hope you find this information to be valuable in assisting you to create a cleaner and a healthier environment inside of a school and inside of a classroom. Thank you for your attention.